Rather quietly, you'd have to say, the United Auto Workers holding their national convention in Detroit this week. So far, delegates approved a small strike pay increase, and they considered who will lead the union for the next four years. With a look at how that process is changed and who's running, uh, let's bring in our business editor, Rob Maloney, live at Huntington Place downtown. Rob. Devin, you know, it's a decidedly different year here for the National UAW Convention. Because of the corruption investigations, there's a federal monitor in place. The federal monitor didn't like the old system where the leadership would essentially pick the next group of leaders and it would be rubber stamped at the convention. And so there are a number of people who came here who aren't delegates, not allowed to be even on the, on the floor of the convention, running for the highest office. Ray Curry currently leads the UAW as president, having taken over from Rory Gamble, who retired last year. Curry asked delegates to return him to office, but not in any formal fashion. In fact, today, he didn't even deliver the usual State of the Union address, the UAW telling me it's going to release that at another time. In years past, delegates flown in from all across the country cast their ballots as the convention winds down and the union announces its new leadership, but not this year. Instead, candidates like Will Lehman of Pennsylvania, who hails from local 677, a Mack truck local, made the UAW presidential ballot. The whole reason this was brought about, the whole reason I'm allowed to run, is because of how thoroughly rotten this organization is. Uh, they made the, their bed and now I'm here. Curry and Lehman are joined by UAW Members United candidate Sean Fain, Local 163's Mark Gibby Gibson, and Local 1248 member Brian Keller of Rochester Hills. In order to get on the ballot, they needed to get a background check by the federal monitor in place and then get a sitting delegate to nominate them on the floor. Keller telling Local 4 News of Curry's executive team. Ray Curry just increased their pensions and they just voted themselves to raise through the delegates but they're basically telling two-tier and the retirees that they don't deserve an increase. And I'm here to fix that. So they're a little restless in the rank and file, and that could get interesting because instead of the delegates actually voting in the new leadership, the membership is going to get a ballot with these names on it. It's being sent out by the monitor, and then they send the ballots back. They get counted, and we won't know who the next president will be until December. Reporting live downtown, Rod Malone, Local 4. How thoroughly rotten. Wow, you're right. Uh, not the typical year <laughs> for the UAW. All right, Rod.